At each school board meeting, staff members make presentations highlighting academic programs in the York County School Division. In April 2012, Waller Mill staff spoke to the board about love of literature. We are in for a treat again this evening in terms of accent on academics presentations. Board members, I see that we have each been lent a copy of A Nest for Celeste um, by Henry Cole. And we are going to hear from Waller Mill um, staff members this evening about their journey with this uh, book and it started out as a summer read to inspire staff about the arts and it's turned into a passionate and creative school-wide author study and so it's all about love of literature that we're going to hear about this evening and I'd like to introduce uh, Jennifer Goodwin principal who will in turn introduce the other presenters this evening good evening <laughs> madam chair mr. mentor members of the board dr. Williams Thank you for this opportunity to share one of our favorite school programs of this year. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to four members of our exceptional staff at Waller Mill. Mrs. Renee Cove, our visual arts teacher. Mrs. Robin O'Neill, third grade teacher. Mary, Mr. Eric Postman, our ETF. And our assistant principal, Miss Elizabeth Pell. Tonight, we'll be sharing our school's journey through a study of A Nest for Celeste by Henry Cole. What started out as a summer read to inspire our staff about the arts led to an amazing professional development opportunity for our teachers to visit the Virginia Fine Arts Museum in Richmond and has turned into a passionate and creative school-wide author study and a renewed love of art and literature that isn't quite over yet. To tell you more is Mrs. Robin O'Neill. Good evening, everybody. It took a year of planning to ensure that we created multiple SOL-aligned instructional activities to engage and challenge our students throughout the 2011-2012 school year. We wanted to strengthen our staff and student learning communities and our love of art by joining together with a great book. Teachers in grades three through five began the school year with classroom read-alouds of A Nest for Celeste. Kindergarten, first and second grade use several of Mr. Cole's picture books with the similar theme of art, inspiration, and the meaning of home as part of their daily five listening and reading centers. The students were thrilled to learn that Mr. Cole would visit Waller Mill in December and that he would autograph books for them. To support our school improvement plan writing goal, Thanksgiving week found us engaged in a school-wide common writing prompt. Pick one thing from your bedroom or home that is special to you. Tell why it is special and why it says home. Students in the primary grades brought their items from home to use as inspiration while they wrote. Susan Spratt, one of our kindergarten teachers, said she was delighted and amazed at the quality of writing her young students were able to produce so early in the school year. In addition to using the steps of the writing process, students in grades three through five created three-dimensional representations of the favorite things to accompany their writing pieces. The students published their stories by sharing them with other students, families, and recording them on Listen Here, Far and Near. Henry Cole Day finally arrived. Mr. Cole tailored sessions for each grade level that inspired students to make text-to-text, -text, text to self, and personal connections, to see the writing process used by a real author, and to read, write, and create art just as he did when he was a child. And I want to share with you, if you will look at page 240, which is tabbed in your book, this is a picture that Mr. Cole showed a photograph of. He went to the plantation in Louisiana, took hundreds of pictures. So when we were back in the classroom and continuing our read aloud, the kids were like, oh my gosh, there's the picture. It was blue in the photograph, but look at it in the book. And it has the little mouse hole down here. It was actually a little divot in the door. And they made that connection. It was, it was phenomenal. The vocabulary in this book, just on page 240, skittered, creases, brocade, frantically. The kids love to find those words. We're looking for them in other books. Mr. Cole showed the kids a 12-inch stack of manuscripts for this book 
with red ink and post-it notes. And they were like, oh, so it's not just Mrs. O'Neill who marks up our things. <laughs> but they, they came away with a great appreciation for what it is to be an artist and a writer. So now Mrs. Cobe will tell you more about the visual arts activities integrated into our book study. Good evening. This year has been truly transformative in the lives of students at Waller Mill. In the field of art, we started the year by studying one of Henry Cole's inspirations, John James Audubon. With the book, The Boy Who Drew Birds, we explored his passion for nature and love of birds. Upper level students practiced the technique of contour drawing to create a piece of art in a fashion similar to Audubon. Primary levels experimented with the use of shapes to create their birds. With these pieces, we created a four foot by five foot magnet mosaic wall. This display is located at the entrance of Waller Mill and is a beautiful reflection of student creativity. The magnet wall fits perfectly in our fine arts magnet school. At the end of the year, students will be given their magnet to take home, a token to remember our year with Henry Cole. On December 5th, Henry Cole came to Waller Mill. What an exciting day. <laughs> He captivated each grade level with stories of his childhood, recollections of life experiences, and inspirations. The students were just mesmerized with his demonstration of his drawing of characters, especially the character Celeste. She was the main character in the Nest for Celeste book, as you can see. <laughs> His love of all things artistic, writing, illustrating music, and the environment filled the room through his enthusiastic personality. His dramatic presence encapsulated all the beliefs of our fine arts magnet. It was such a joy to see someone so honestly dedicated to inspiring others through the arts. Several other projects have taken place since Henry Cole's December visit. The second graders experimented with color mixing, form, and sculpture to create their own imaginary birds. They used a variety of materials, including model magic clay, toothpicks, feathers, brads, and paper clips. Also inspired by his illustrations, the third graders studied foreground, middle ground, and background when creating their renditions of Dinarella, which is a twist on the traditional Cinderella story. Also, this year, fifth graders have explored the art of basket weaving. Regional artist Leonard Hall visited Waller Mill in April. He demonstrated a simple traditional style of basket weaving and shared his love of the craft with the students. Among other things, students learned it takes patience and dedication to create a fine piece of art. He was an inspiration that we were very fortunate to host at our school. The fifth grade gift tradition will continue this year with a student design piece inspired by Celeste. The gift this year is a basket woven with a variety of materials some traditional, such as natural reed, and some non-traditional, such as wire, fabric, and yarn. This involves collaboration and participation by each student in fifth grade. It is currently under construction with plans for completion in May. Together, these activities support our SOLs to immerse students in a print-rich environment, to appreciate and read fiction and non-fiction texts, expand vocabulary, write to communicate ideas, and provide multiple means of expression. At this time, Ms. Pell will tell you more about extension activities. Hi, good evening. To wrap things up, I just, the spirit of Mr. Cole's love of writing and art lives on in our students and our staff at Waller Mill. His passion has expanded beyond the walls of our school. Students are making comparisons of characters and events in the story they enjoyed during the Henry Cole book study to new experiences. From baskets to our new school garden to our nature trail, students are making connections with literature and their young lives. 
It has been an educator's dream watching as our students blossom throughout the process of reading a book, to comparing the now famous Celeste to treasured items in their own lives to the exhilarating day of Henry Cole's visit. Our hearts were full that day as one reluctant learner expressed to us, this is the best day ever. This book has truly changed the way our children think about literature. We want to thank you for the opportunity to share about this amazing journey with you this evening and would be happy to answer any questions you may have for us. folks truly could get wrapped up and, and enjoy that. You guys do such a brilliant job. You just brilliant work at Waller Mill. Very impressive. Um, I, I, I look at your presentation and hear you and I guess what I keep thinking to myself is you're a magnet school but I want all the other schools to do what you're doing. So I, I would really like for the, uh, the other schools to uh, hear about your program and see how they could incorporate that too and Great. for the other students that uh, the schools that aren't magnet schools. How long did the author stay in the school with you when he came in? He was there the entire day. Entire, he stayed wow. all day with us. Fantastic. Uh -huh. It was amazing to watch the children to go into the dance <laughs> studio with 65th graders sitting there where you think, you know, he's going to draw a mouse. They were just awestruck. You could have heard a pen drop because he did draw with that music in the background and it just, the teachers, everybody just couldn't look away because he's truly an artist in every sense of the word. The art, the written work, the music, he just has it all together. He just looked like art himself wow. <laughs> walking around yeah. the school. Yeah. So yeah. it was very exciting. Everybody was just very excited for the day to get there and just enjoyed the day immensely. So we'd love to have him come back. He was Thank fabulous. You. Thank you. We hear so much on the other hand, about technology, you know, t everything is technology. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when you see something like this uh, and, and just how free flowing it is, I know this is a difficult question to ask of the spur of the moment. With fine arts, with his kind of presentation, do you see the use of technology and how would you? Oh, we do. Well, first of all, all of the things that he does, you can use technology. You can use technology to hear the music. You can read that book on your iPad, but it still takes the person doing all that work behind the scenes. To do the drawing. So whether we that. teach our children to compose on the computer or the old school way, like I learned to do it on paper and pencil mm -hmm. and then go back and retype it on the computer, the technology <laughs> piece is there, and our students are so accepting of that, and they embrace that. Um, our students love bringing their technology in fifth grade as their readers. They're very much wanting to be on the um, iPads and the computers. They're loving the keyboarding. So they get that piece, and we just do a nice job with the help of our ETF. <laughs> Fantastic. showing you some of those things but our students can do this in the classroom as well and that's something that I think they can really go hand in hand because you can do art with technology we, we use technology to view art and hear art and read art so it really goes hand in hand I don't really see them separate okay. so much and also to share what they've done with oh, a yeah. wider audience uh, yeah. okay. um, we, we made mention of a website mm -hmm. where some of the students they had we videotaped Oops. their reading of their writing and it's out there for anybody to see. Fantastic. You. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I know, so let, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just want to, I mean, first of all, the energy level at Walla Bill is through the roof 99.9% um, um, of the time. Um, but to bring something like this, I guess it's the first time y'all have done an author type piece like this. Um, and I'm sure it opened up a, many eyes of students that maybe would not have really appreciated literature or the book or, or the reading piece of it. Um, you know, I watched him in the video clip and I saw that he was utilizing technology in his presentation in front of the students. Um, I watched your presentation of, of course, that slide that you use with the words that puts the mm -hmm. emphasis on the larger words and, and um, lots of tools out there. But I think the way you integrate the arts into every subject in your building is what really makes the biggest difference of all. A child at the Fine Arts Magnet at Walla Mill it doesn't matter if they're in math or science or history or English or what. It's all just a wraparound. And I think that's pretty awesome how y'all can do that with instruments and things in place and programs that just bring out the best in a child that may struggle in math one day and go, wait a minute, this just came to life for me. And because of a connection to art. So um, hats off to you. Great job. Mm -hmm. 
I was just going to share the observation that writing is such an incredibly important skill in all content areas, and you all made reference to the state standard of learning uh, um, <coughs> expectations as it relates to, for example, writing, writing process. But what impresses me the most is, yes, these learning experiences are tied to teaching those standards, but it's in, in a way that is, that is joyful. And so you could imagine teaching the writing process in a very formulaic way that, is, that sucks the fun and enjoyment out of it. <laughs> but clearly, this is about the passion of literacy, the kids making connections, and the enthusiasm. And that, yes, um, the, it's hard work. It, it, it's joyful, but it's hard work, as evidenced by that stack of, of <laughs> drafts that the author shared. But it's in the context that, hey, I'm, I'm creating something that I'm proud of. And, and so I'm impressed by that sharing of enthusiasm for this very important skill. It wasn't just, hey, let's teach this, de this skill in a decontextualized, boring manner. So that's great. Mm -hmm.